Hello once again, readers. It's TMW here. As always, Mailbag Monday time, December 16th, 2013. And how was everybody's weekend? Mine was really good. Thank you very much. Uh, as we see, uh, we're back to having rather a normal sized, good, hearty, chunky week. Ah! 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 <laughs> well, there it is. Uh, in the mailbag this time. So uh, let's dig into these and uh, uh, get it over with. See what we got this week, shall we? All right. And this first parcel comes from Random House. All right, everyone. Uh, this is another arc uh, from uh, Vintage Vintage Books, actually. A uh, book that is releasing on April Fool's Day, April 1st, 2014. And it is an anthology called Robot Uprisings, edited by Daniel H. Wilson and John Joseph Adams. Let's have a look and see what it's all about. Humans beware! In April 2014, Vintage Books will publish Robot Uprisings, an anthology edited by New York Times bestselling author Daniel H. Wilson and John Joseph Adams, full of tales of robotic revolution and human resistance from some of the biggest names in science fiction. Robot Uprisings is a collection that will shock, stun, and entertain you. Uh, although you may never look at your smartphone the same way again. Oh dear. All right, well, this book will be published as a trade paperback original. Um, very quickly, a uh, quick scan of the uh, contents page reveals stories by, uh, oh, pretty decent uh, list of names here. Scott Sigler, Charles Yu, uh, jean via Valentine, uh, Hugh Howey, um, Corey Doctorow, of course. He'd be in something like this. Uh, Jeff Abbott, uh, Alistair Reynolds, oh, all right. Uh, Alan Dean Foster, Ian McDonald, uh, Shannon McGuire, Nettie Okorafor, oh, there we are. Yes, I hope I pronounced her name correctly. She's wonderful. And uh, Daniel H. Wilson. So, you like robots, then uh, April 1st, uh, here's a book for you. And next, uh, something from Pyre. Looks like Prometheus Books. And this is a... Oh, holy mackerel. Ooh. All right, uh, epic fantasy people. Check that. This is a nice, chunky arc for something called The Barrow by Mark Smiley. Release date is March 4th, and it says, When a small crew of scoundrels, would-be heroes, deviants, and ruffians discover a map that they believe will lead them to a fabled sword buried in the barrel of a long-dead wizard, they think they've struck it rich. But their hopes are dashed when the map turns out to be cursed, and then it is destroyed in a magical ritual. The loss of the map leaves them dreaming of what might have been until they rediscover the map in a most unusual and unexpected place. So in some ways it appears to be, uh, you know, a traditional epic fantasy, but maybe, you know, trying to turn some of its uh, tropes on its head. But it uh, could be a lot of fun. And uh, if you like your ep epic fantasies thick, uh, this one seems to deliver the goods in that department. So The Barrow by Mark Smiley, releasing March 4th. Let me know in the comments. And from HarperCollins Publishers, we have... Hardcover uh, release here of Innocent Blood uh, by James Rollins and Rebecca Cantrell. Would I be right in assuming this is vampire stuff? Yes, it's vampire stuff. Okay. Um, last year, James Rollins and Rebecca Cantrell left readers on the edge of their seats at the end of The Blood Gospel, the debut novel in the Order of the Sanguine series about an ancient Vatican order who seek the answers to a mystery found within the pages of a gospel written in Christ's own blood, etc., etc., etc. Okay. Um, and I guess uh, Jesus wrote about vampires uh, in this gospel because, um, you know, here are books about vampires. Not a big vampire fan, as I believe I've mentioned many times earlier, but if you are, maybe this is one you want to keep an eye out for. And moving on rather efficiently, uh, something from Penguin. So either Ace or Rock, and it feels like a hardcover. It is! It is a hardcover. It's a new book by Joe Haldeman. Work done for hire. Uh, machine gun on Le cover. So, uh, bah, 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 bah. Haldeman switches it up with a dark yet humorous near-future thriller that is sure to be counted among his best work. Jack Daly suffers nightmares from his time as a sniper during the war. It doesn't say which war, just the war. It's always the war in stories like this. He finds some solace in his writing career and his girlfriend, Kit. When he receives an opportunity to write a thriller based on a Hollywood script outline, Jack jumps at the opportunity. It promises to give his career the boost it needs. But when a package containing a sniper rifle, silencer, and ammunition arrives on his doorstep with the first installment of $100,000 payment to kill a, quote, bad man, Jack realizes his writing isn't the only talent that is in demand. And if he doesn't take the job, Kit will be in the crosshairs instead. This has all the earmarks of being mainstream, not science fiction, unless there's some twist in it. So, yeah, looks uh, very much maybe like a, a mainstream-style th thriller from Joe Haldeman. 
uh, rather than an SF null one, although it is published by ACE. So here we go, work done for hire, and the release date on this is January 7th. All right, St. Martin's Press has sent me a big one. Let's see what's in here. Very thick novel by K.M. Ruiz called Strikers with a Y. I know the name. K.M. Ruiz, they've sent me some stuff of, uh, by this writer before. I feel rather badly that I've uh, not gotten around to it yet, but, you know, maybe this will be the chance. Uh, Sci-fi writer, reader's dream come true. Two books in one, Strikers combined. Oh, well, okay. All right, well, then this explains it. I already have these books in their original form. Mindstorm and Terminal Point, two novels, and now they have been put together in an omnibus edition, and here it is, titled Strikers. So, eh. all right, they're, I guess, giving us another chance to read them if we miss them out the first time, uh, like I have done. Threna D. Corwin, a scion, P-S-I-O-N, with the ability to channel electricity like lightning through anything she touches, is a soldier for the human government. On a suicide mission, Threnody and her team of strikers, with a Y, are recruited by an unknown enemy. Lucas Serka, well, if you're going to give him a name, he's not unknown. Lucas Serka, one of the most powerful scions alive who is masquerading as human. Sneaky devil. Forming an uneasy alliance, the two groups escalate their fight with the ruling government and worldwide chaos ensues. When a new kind of scion power is discovered that could reshape the wasted planet, the renegades must raise, race, not race, raise, race, come on, Martin, read, you can, you can do this, to save society, must race to save society before it destroys itself, but the cost is high and in the end there is no such thing as compromise, there is only survival. Strikers with a Y, K.M. Ruiz, a repackaging of two previously released novels. And here is another very chunky package from uh, Penguin that appears to contain multiple books. Uh, this looks like it's the latest batch of mass markets from them. So... So Penguin's doing this really nice thing now where they're, they're emailing reviewers and they're basically sending you a little check-off, you know, online uh, uh, poll, I guess it were. Um, or questionnaire, uh, allowing you to pick the mass markets that you want to get, uh, which I think is really handy. Um, saves them time, saves me getting things I don't want. Uh, but yeah, yeah, a bunch of books in here. Ooh, one, two, three, uh, four, and five. No, six! All right, we're just going to go down the stack here, right? Half a dozen uh, mass markets from Penguin. First is something by Lisa Sheeran. If you're an urban fantasy person, uh, this appears to be a new uh, series by her. The Grendel Affair is the first book. The Vastalimi Gambit. Uh, this is the second book in a series called Cutter's Wars by military SF writer Steve Perry. Uh, I wouldn't describe myself as a huge Steve Perry fan, but I did read the first uh, book in this series and reviewed it and thought it was pretty decent. Um, you know, good escapism. You know, popcorn reading. Not bad. Uh, so here's the second one. I'm, I'll probably read it too. The Shadowed Throne by K.J. Taylor is the second book in a series called The Risen Sun. Uh, looks to be very traditional epic fantasy, if, you're have, if you have a hankering. The Sharpest Blade is the latest novel in a series called Shadow Reader by Sandy Williams. Urban fantasy appears to be. Okay, now here's, here's a series that I, I have all the volumes of, and I really have been looking to dig into this. I've read the first few chapters of the first book. Uh, and really rather liked it, more than I was expecting to, because I've tried to read Michelle West before, and I'm like, oh, my eyes were kind of glazing. Uh, but I liked the way the first volume of this series began. Uh, it's called The House War. Uh, this is the most recent volume that was released in hardcover about a year ago, and this is the mass market edition. It's called Battle. She's about five books into the series now. I, the only reason I haven't really dug into them, uh, you know, with any sense of determination yet is because, you know, this is another one of those series where every book is, you know, seven, eight hundred pages long, and I'm like, okay, really have to commit to that, and then I get too many books to keep up with already. Um, but this is one that I've looked at and really do have an interest in following, so uh, I'm going to try to get caught up with these, and if they look interesting to you, let me know. But this is Battle by Michelle West. And finally, a new book by Irene Radford, The Broken Dragon, uh, the most recent uh, volume, I think the second volume, uh, in a series called The Children of the Dragon Nimbus. Now, I read and reviewed the first volume that came out maybe 20 years ago uh, in her, her earliest Dragon Nimbus series. Uh, didn't really care for it, uh, just found it sort of dull and boilerplate epic fantasy, but I don't know, been many years, uh, her career has progressed, and, and you know perhaps she has progressed as a writer along with it. 
Uh, so, you know, if you'd like for me to maybe catch up with Irene Redford, give her another chance uh, with this new series, let me know about The Broken Dragon from Irene Radford. And that is a nice big stack of half a dozen mass market paperbacks from uh, Penguin. Thank you guys very much for sending me those. And the final envelope. Ah, here we are. All right. This is something that I'm uh, quite um, enthusiastic to read. I have already received this in ARC form, uh, but it is Swords of Good Men. And get this, it is a fantasy novel, epic fantasy novel about Vikings written by an actual Icelander, Snorri Christiansen. Uh, I don't think that uh, a fantasy novel could possibly get any more metal than this. Uh, but um, I'm quite eager to read this. If you'd like to uh, uh, find out more about it, let me know too in the comments. Let's read the uh, sales sheet, shall we? Is there one? Uh, there is not one. There's no sale. Okay, anyway. An epic Viking saga about the conflict between the old gods and the new. And that's all it says. All right, so there you go. Vikings, gods, swords, guys killing each other. Swords of Good Men by Snorri Christiansen. And okay, and that's uh, this installment of Mailbag Monday, everybody. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful holiday season. A couple things I want you to remember, as always, please, if you're going to be using Amazon to do your Christmas book shopping, please consider using my links at sfreviews.net. Uh, you can just go to any review on my site, click the book cover thumbnail, take you to Amazon, and then you can buy whatever you like. You don't have to buy that particular book. Um, if you enjoy watching these, as always, I appreciate it if you leave a like, uh, spread the word, share the video amongst your SFF reading circles on social media. Above all, please subscribe if you haven't done so. That just helps the channel grow. Uh, just get bigger and bigger and expand the audience, spread the fun, all that kind of good stuff. And so uh, keep an eye out for new reviews. And until I see you next time, happy reading.